And we're back. Streaming. With another bum-ass veteran. And excellent health. So I went ahead, I reset the phone to eliminate any background apps if there were any. They may cause this phone or may cause the feed to uh, deviate and break away from our mission. And I also, thank you. And I also, uh, I did not share the link over into, uh, into Facebook. Next time, I'll just send a, a separate link over into Facebook. I should not have started with this guy. This is like the cleanup guy right here. What's up, Dev? What's up, Zillion? Dom. Dom Kaluminati. Ah, that glitch. You see that that invisible wall? Ah. Yeah, we can. You can join up. We can squad up in here. Nobody's asked me yet, so I was like, oh. "Actually, I." The invisible wall strikes again. But just know, uh, as the as this round, if you're trying to squad up and everything, as the rounds, I've said it several times, as the rounds. Are ending, that's the time when you go and wait in the hangar. I don't have I don't have an iOS device to make an iOS. Why? Who I'm gonna start ignoring those type of questions. Ah, pop this top, pop this top. Once you pop, you just can't stop. Rhino felt the pain. Dish. How long have you been streaming? I've been streaming all day long. All by my... Well, I had streamed for like two hours earlier, almost three hours, and then uh, and then I streamed uh, a couple of more intervals, and after I took a nap because I was getting tired, I went ahead and uh, I woke up. I went and got a bite to eat. And I came back and started streaming again. Streaming again. I'm back on the game. He said, I'm streaming again. I'm back on the tube. I'm going to put pain down on all of the noobs. Look at this noob right here. Watch this. Watch this. Ah, noobie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I meant to share your stream and actually, oh my God. <laughs> hey, no, no worries. No worries. I'm sure they'll watch the stream. They're going to, uh, after 10,000 views, they're going to review all my streams. If there's anything crazy on my stream, they'll, they'll go ahead and, uh, pull the whole website. The whole partnership. And then I have to start another one. Then I have to get back up to 10,000. 10,000 views. And we'll start all over again. If that's what we got to do, then that's what we're going to do. Because, you know, I keep it true. Stay true. Thug life. Y'all know the rules. Got to do what you got to do. Stay true. And that is Tupac. Can't play no music, so I might as well rap it. Lil Scrappy. Yeah. Yeah. Lil Scrappy. Yeah. Lil Scrappy. Woo! Let me get back. Just in time to fall. And this is what... I'm thinking I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the... I'm going to get rid of the, the Hydras. Someone told me not to do the Hydras. I'm going to get rid of the Hydras. They're not hitting hard enough. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going uh, to I'm going to put some uh tumblers on these bad on this bad boy. And that's going to that's going to that's going to step this that's going to step this Griffin up all the way to the max. Cause they've been letting me get close enough to uh, fire my aphids. Back that up with some tumblers. Ooh, sweet Sadie. All right, the game has ended. This round, I lost the end, and I'm losing, losing, losing control. No, 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 no more to death plasma. I want to hit and I want to stick and move. I want to make it. Stick and move as, as much as possible. Stick and move. It would I could do a death button, but it'd be like a long range death button. And I don't wanna uh I want it I want it to be a mix between brawling. As you as you know, I, I try to get close in on some stuff. It's it's these these robots they're like they conflict against my play style. That's why I'm always playing with the small robots. I kick butt on with the small robots. Y'all seen that? But um, uh, I'm trying to develop new orkins and aphids. I only have one. I only have one orkin, so I can only do. And as you can see, I'm putting him back up. I'm putting I'm putting big big boy right back up on the shelf. No, oh well, it's fine. Give it a level ten. Let me level eight. It's and you'll survive. I will survive. The most powerful build before the recent update was Aphid Terran. Yeah, the more the more powerful build was Aphid Terran. I fought many of those, many of those, and destroyed them, and was destroyed by them. Mm, what shall we implement? Uh, let's just keep it real. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. Y'all know I like to play with my little guys. I'll be right there, Biohazard. Just one moment. Oh, man. Have y'all ever had this done? Had this happen to you? Well, you can't select a. Uh, this is the second time that's happened to me. Then you got to come back in here and retap it. That's a glitch. Little glitchy game. You ain't nothing but a glitchy, a, a, a glitchy application. All these uploads, all these updates. Hopefully, in, in the next update, they drop in the next two months. Um, 
that can clear up some of the some of the issues. I'm sure it's gonna come with more issues, but hey, you know. Don't you hate it when they buff a weapon and it becomes the most powerful and you don't have it level? Here's the thing with that. I've been leveling a lot of I, I take I, I make I take note to I always level as many weapons and I'm real diverse. And over the years, uh as the updates have come, I've always been able to reap the benefits off the weapons due to the fact that I had already been working on it. Like say for example the Ansel. My Ansel, I've been walking around with that Ansel at level 10 for an entire year. Do I should I should I uh should I uh level it up anymore? I don't really have to. I can. But with the buffer, I mean with the with the with the new update, it just made it just that much more stronger. So my level 10 Ansel that was giving people problems before the update it's just that much of a problem. And then I seen the threads uh, of memes and, and people posting on War Robots talking about how the answer was so important to play with now. I was like, well, I understood that way back in the day. Way back in the gap. But, you know. Punishers. My mullets are, are leveled up real good. But I don't really play with the mullets. Even though my molars can tear tear some stuff up, I've been trying to focus on these these tumblers. I've been fo I've been running the tumblers for a while. I've been upgrading those, and whenever I got that dock, it was just right on time. Hoolies never die. You are correct. That's a lot of gold. That's like twenty bucks. That's all. That's a little under twenty dollars worth of gold. Whew! I'm glad I got out of that because you're about to blast. Y'all already know what time it is. Once you see that echo shine. What's up, Isaiah? And after I kicked it, after I uh, disconnected from that that YouTube feed, I'm not the YouTube, but the Facebook feed. We're not having any glitchy glitches. The glitch. Oh, hold up. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I can't be standing out there in that. Even those little light level, uh, those little light level ansels, well, the uh, uh, not ansels, but the light level uh beams, those echoes will affect me greatly only because I move so slow. Ah, I hate this glitch right here. You see that sliding glitch? It's the most annoying. It's one of the more annoying glitches. Ah. Yeah, I seen him down there. He ain't going nowhere. He's trying to distract people and, and get them to run around the, the map. And that's not happening. Shit. You see? I hate this fucking... Well, we got to learn how to play with it. What's up, gaming? I'm going to have to learn how to play with this mech. Yeah, he's just, those guys down there, they're just trying to get people to run after of them. And they're not even trying to take beacons or anything. They're just trying to get people to run after of them. Whenever you see somebody run out there in that far field like that, then you know that that's a noob. That's a newbie. I used to do stuff like that. <laughs> I used to do it like that just because I don't. Oh. Oh. All right, let's go knock this guy off. He's a Zangster Zillion. Ask why he's not promoted. I don't ever go into the, I don't ever go in there. I will go in then and fix that. I will be sure to promote you, bro. I really go into that, into that clan deal and, and, and get to promote or going into your files or whatever. Woo! 
Woo! That was nice. I never thought I'd say I hate you, Griff. I hate you, Griff. I hate you, Griff. Too many days you done shot them tumblers at me. Or oh, is that a Saran on that boy? I hate the grill. I hate you, Griff. Woo! They frying me, guys. They frying me. I never thought I'd say. Why you gotta put all this drama in my life? <laughs> Woo! That was like in 2003 that bat that track dropped. Or 2005. It was 2005. And it actually it actually got on like the billboard. I was like, oh man, Zero's on the on the billboard would I hate you. Zero. I never thought I say. Oh yeah, just in time, wasn't it? Just in time. He ate that. After recent update, Ansel Griff became the most popular. Yeah, the Griffin has definitely become very popular. Yeah, we can do it next. Just be be ready. Be ready whenever the the the. All y'all got to do if y'all trying to get in the game is just be ready at the end of the battle. Be in the hangar, ready to roll at the end of the battle. Plant. <clears throat> you won't even have to ask anymore. It was just like, oh, all right, this is about to end. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to try to hop in. I'm going to try to hop on the squad with them real quick. Uh oh. Uh -huh. And. Oh, we got a trident. It's tridents. I, I can't even stand on this wall. Ooh, baby. Mm, mm, mm. It feels like. I knew he was coming at me with that. Sh I knew he was coming at me with that. Now I don't even got my jump capabilities. They didn't blew off my my special mode. Like pulling wings off a fly. Mm, mm, mm. How, what am I gonna do now? Stand a lot, four foot, four fifty five. They ain't gonna kill this guy too easily. This is my cleanup guy. Y'all already know this is my cleanup guy right here. All right, I'll take, I'll take lead. Oh man. Looks like we got some haters over there. Why you gotta put all this drama in my life? Woo! Oh no, I'm coming now, bro. Yeah, you better run. You have better run. Ooh! Ouch! Eee! Ah! He didn't clean up nothing. He died. It only took, what? 
12 of those shots, they dropped me. 12 shots stopped me. All right, I'm over here. I'm ready to... Let's see. Let's see what's up with Biohazard. This hamburger. Hamburgers and Tater Tots. Why you gotta put all the drama in my life? See what Jerry gonna do. Uh, uh, mm -hmm, mm. All right, I see you, Marcio. And we just got a Bobby coming against all odds. <laughs> so I watched a uh, YouTube video of an individual. He was flashing all his money. He was streaming it. He was he was live on the internet. And he was flashing all of his money. He had about three. He had about three to four thousand dollars in his hand. You know, full of twenties. He had a handful of twenties. Made it look like it was more than what it was. Um, uh, and I guess the police were monitoring his Facebook and whenever he got on there and started live streaming, y'all already know what went down. <laughs> wow. You already know what went down. All you hear was, oh, you seen that last night? Crazy. Crazy. It happens every day to these idiots. <laughs> Crazy. That was that Willie D, huh? Dom, you were watching Willie D? Yeah, I'm subscribed to him. He all Willie D be dropping some hot stuff, man. He got some really good uh information. What up, Blaze? Just Blaze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's him. That's him. We saw the same. We seen us all. We saw the same uh, thing. Yep. Just foolish. I mean, if you got all that money, why are you on the on the internet showing it off? But. You can't tell nobody nothing. You got to show it off. You got to prove it. Ah, oh, those aphids. Those aphids found. I'm out here in the... Ah, that Jesse is not... See, usually that, that Jesse be me. Dropping them. Y'all already know I usually be the one in that Jesse driving them down. Yeah, I think I better try to do that plasma thing. Ah, oh, man, I gotta watch where I'm going. All right, all right. I thought he was gonna hug. I thought he was gonna hug that wall, but he didn't. He up off that wall. But we can get behind that wall, fam. Here, eat that. I told you we can get behind that wall. He got a wall up there constructed. He ain't gonna keep me out. 
Not my hula. Not, not my Thule. My Thule work. This guy up here with these uh with these pins is acting up, ain't he? I'm glad he has pins. Pins aren't. Pins are uh, they're not that effective. With pins, you can you can bounce around on some pins. The only thing about pins, they got a real good splash on them. And if they whiz by you just enough, oh yeah, you got struck, plucked. It's your bucks. All right, what is this guy doing? That's a that's a uh, that's a death stray down there frying, trying to fry me. I'm not really worried about that green light. Green light means go, you know. A lot of people they'll get real uh, anxious about the, about that 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 gecko, that green gecko. <laughs> I got some I got some geckos. I don't ever pull them out though, and they're not they're not friendly geckos. I wonder what the most underrated bot in this game is. The most underrated bot, I'm gonna say the either one of the bots I don't ever play with, and it's gonna be the uh no, no I can't say the rhino. You know what's a really underrated bot? The uh the Cosat. But that's the Cosat is gonna be a dead bot whenever uh those other. Those other uh, bots drop in the game. The Cossack and the Natasha are done. Because the Cossack doesn't have enough health at all. If that Cossack would, would upgrade and really have some health, then it would definitely be the number one underrated. So I got two cleanup guys coming through. Let's see how I feel. But you can't really call it on a bot, you know? You can't really call it until you learn how to play with it. Hopefully they'll let me hang up here until my, my cloak ch uh, charges up. And then I'm going to run up in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to have to take him down first. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, cloak is up. Cloak is up. Let's go. Let's go. Ah! You see how I got stuck on that little piece? It's like, no! And I brought a knife. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I swear I love this game. I don't care how many times. And y'all see, y'all see how many times I lose. Y'all see I don't care about losing trophies. Y'all see that. I love this game. It, it, it is. I will never stop playing this game, even after I get uh, my hands onto that uh, Battle Titans. This game is a staple. <laughs> I even put it on him before I died. Now I'm about to go rush him again. Hold up. Uh, we might turn. Oh, it's only two people left. Oh, man. They got all six of their bots. And you can see there's only two people who are really playing. That's how you can tell who's really playing on, the, on, uh, on your team. It's saying what's left over when it all really matters. When it really count when it comes down and the final come down, that's a good movie. Uh then, then you'll know who was really playing <laughs> by who outlasted. I know that Natasha is hating me right now. And this is why I say the Natasha is a dead bot. That was a fully loaded Natasha. 
that that Natasha was ready. You feel me? But I just ran down there and usurped the Natasha. Come on. It's dead. It's done. That Natasha is not of any use. If you're rolling with the Natasha, you might as well stay back in the back, in the background, and snipe. You, I mean, it's just, it just, that's the only way to go. Because whenever anything gets within like 600 meters of you, you're, you're screwed. 500 meters, let's just say 500 meters, you're, you're going to be getting struck. Let's go back to the squad. We got Theo. He's waiting for us. Let's see where Theo is. Trophy awarded each a thousand. Who is Trophy? God, I thought I loved you so. It's right. And Hamburger Bot has left the squad. We got Don't Kill Me and myself. And those aphids are getting me in trouble. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw the Tarans on since I'm firing aphids. That's within 350 meters, right? So go ahead, throw the Tarans, make it a plasma, plasma griff. Go ahead and stop being difficult. I just wanted some versatility. You know what? I, I have, I have, uh, not been playing this griff to his full capabilities. That's what's going on. I know what I got to do now. I'm going to stay back and bait them in. And once they get within range, then that's when we're going to strike. Ah. Now I got about a million seconds. Oh, my God. We got beams. I'm beaming. Ah, ah, ah. Look at me now. I'm being man. Let me jump over here. Uh, look at me now. I'm being man. I remember that song first dropped up. Today's a holiday. Hey, we're gonna have to stream one with some music in the background, guys. Cause that's 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 what's so intense about this. Streaming with that music in the background. It turns it turns it into a different it turns it into a different uh atmosphere. And I haven't streamed with music uh in a minute. So I'm gonna have to drop some music in a minute. I'm a big fan of music. Somebody was asking me about myself earlier. I love music. And it depends on what type of music it is. I can listen to anything. Depending on the message. I can listen to anything. I can listen to country if if it has a message. And most country songs do have a message. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So I can listen to a lot of country. Where were you when the world stopped turning? On that September day. That was a beautiful song, boy. He dropped that, man. He, he dropped that. Who, who sung that song right there? He dropped that song. He said, where were you? That's how it, that's how it came. It just dropped. Man. It just make you think. Like, what the hell? When I first heard that, I was like, oh, man. On that September day. Invite me, Mo 21. I got you, Clyde. I got you. I got you. And you know we already got to do a special shout out. We got to do a special shout out. So y'all be ready. Uh, uh, uh.
I don't know if y'all have ever um That carnage is on my flank. Get off my flank! Oh, that's a griffin. <laughs> Get off my flank, man. I'm about to come over there. I'm going to hit you aside your head real quick. <gasps> my mama said knock you out. Now, I'm going to knock you out. I said, I'm going to knock you out. You better move. Before I just knock you out. The golem is just going to eat it, ain't he? The golem just going to eat it. He said, I'm gonna stand right here. I got a paint job. I got a, I got a, what was that? Screens on the inside, ice on the outside. How, how did that song go? I didn't really like it. I'm about to flip flop these candy painted mother. Boy, y'all almost got me cussing up in here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's take this beacon. Oh boy, you better get on up out of here, boy. You better get, I got bronchitis. You got bronchitis? Well here's a here's a here's a breathing treatment. Ah <laughs> dropped a breathing treatment on that boy like a hot mix. Mr. Mad. Well, scratch your ass and get glad, boy. Uh, you mad? <laughs> Mr. Mad. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Somebody at top. Somebody on top. Somebody up there perching. Woo! Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. Ugh. Move. Before they kill me. Please. I'm about to do another drive-by. I'm about to do another drive-by, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna I'm drive-by on them. Then I'm gonna see walk on up out of there. Watch. Y'all gonna make me act a fool. Hoover, Hoover Crip, Ho Hoover Crip. <laughs> this Hoover Deuce, this Hoover Deuce. <laughs> hey, don't y'all ever go out outside saying no shit like that. <laughs> oh. I ain't no Crip, I ain't no gangbanger. I think that's one of the dumbest things in the world. I couldn't, I couldn't allow no grown man to be telling me what to do. You gonna rob this person or whatever they do. I couldn't do it. I guess that's why I haven't uh, ended up in prison yet. Because I'm not about to join no gang. If you go to prison, you know you're going to have to join a gang. Especially if you're black. <laughs> you know you got to join a gang now. You once you go to prison, you coming out and you gonna come out affiliated with something. Everywhere we go, them thug life brothers on the road. Can I dance with you? Now that's that uh, that's that uh that Thug Life. That's an album that a lot of people don't listen to, when they, or don't even mention whenever uh they mention Tupac, Thug Life, and Still I Rise because it's uh it's an album with uh with the Outlaws. A lot of people don't mention that, but those are classics. The shit don't stop. <laughs> Them Thug Life is on the road. Shit don't stop. 
Can I dance with you? Mm. All right, guys. We're the last. We're the last breathing. I'm going to let my stuff charge up, too. You all charged up? You ready? Uh, Mola. I was waiting on you. I was waiting on you. Can I dance with you? And there is a place plant. Woo! Let's see what we got, guys. Are they going to drop this guy? Are they going to get a beacon? What do we have here? Let's get into action. Ah, uh, nah. We lost. I'm Duchamp, guys. Duchamp. All right, all right, all right. Now, there's guys in the squad. They want to squad up. And we gonna try to wait on guys to squad up. Hoolies with the toolies, we all squad up. We got hoolies in the toolies, they all squad up. How brought up. Let's see what all these messages are about. All right, it seems that we're about to roll. R O L L, roll tide. Hi, right. when you gonna get? I don't know yet. I don't have the money for iOS. That stuff is expensive. Oh, uh, oh man, my phone isn't charging. Damn, it's reading is a charge. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's why it's not charging. Right. Y'all know I got the Samsung because I had the Note 4. Uh, most Samsung or the Notes, most of the Notes, they come with a, a adaptive fast charger. And one of the guys was asking me, yo, how do you stream and your battery stays at 100% the whole time? Well, it's because I have an adaptive uh, charger and it has a lower capacitor. capacitor. Or a lower resistor. That's what it is. Yeah, it has a low, a low uh, range compa uh, resistor, and it allows more charge to come through the uh, the charger. It's called a, a fast adaptive charger or whatever. And if you ever get a note, they only come. I think you can buy them at, at T-Mobile now, or you can buy them now. But uh, back in the day, about a few years ago, they only came with the notes. And anybody with a note. You knew they had a note because if they lost their charger, they were looking for it and they knew what they were looking for. And it's because it was completely different from all other chargers because our chargers charge the charge the uh, the program or the, the device faster. So I've been I've been hanging on to this 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 fast adapter charger for a long time. It's been about three years and I will not let it out of my sight. Shit. So Natasha wanna play. I got games though. Natasha just got ate up. <laughs> Y'all see Natasha do that, do that front flip on down off that, off that uh, that high rise. We put her down, didn't we? Put her down, put her down. Oh, what's up? Cool, cool it down before I lose control. Y'all don't know nothing about that. I know the youngsters don't, definitely don't know nothing about that. New kids on the block. That was when I was a baby. That was when I was a baby. Cool, cool it down. Cool it down. If you ask a youngster about Bobby Brown right now, he gonna tell you the drug addict? <laughs> nah, Bobby, Bobby Brown used to be a, a, a real... A real big thing. 
Bobby Brown used to be like the equivalent of uh, Justin Bieber. Bobby Brown was the thing back in the day. He was a little kid. He was doing all the dance moves. Bam! Bobby Brown was Justin Bieber. Got to cool him now. I wasted all of that. I wasted all of my blasts. My entire charge on that. Did we ever get that beacon over there, guys? Yeah. I'm about to go support my brother over here. I should have. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Most of the most stars. Hey, Devin. Most stars are, uh, are I mean, are. They, they get involved in that lifestyle. And that lifestyle is real. It's very real. You do have to do things to become a superstar. Hey, hey, Devin, one other thing while we're on that topic. While you're in the military, while I was in the military, those same uh, those same people were in the military too. And on the plane, on the C-130, on the, on, the, on the C-130 flying to Iraq, those same people addressed you and they said, hey, so if you don't have a girlfriend out here, who are you going to be sleeping with? And they, they, it was direct. It was real. They roll up on you. And uh, those people are what you call the boule. In the black community, they are the, bu the boule. And they're the same people who, who, uh, who's who been all over the TV, uh, HBCUs. It's them. Yeah, they got them. They got those people in the military. And they and, and those people, they be having uh, when we when when you just a regular soldier and you ain't a part of their clique, uh, some fraternity sorority thing uh, uh, pledging in the military. What happens you're the one who's going to be doing the missions. They're not. And tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. If you if you're willing to do that and and sell, not sell your soul, but basically uh give up your body, then you don't have to go on, on convoys. You don't have to go kick doors in. Tell me I'm lying. I want somebody that I want to I want to I want somebody who, who who hasn't said anything and just quiet and just watch my feeds to tell me I'm lying. Just put it in the comment. Put it in the comment and say the boule ain't real. They ain't in the military and they don't control most everything in my in my in my general community. I want somebody to tell me that I'm lying because I know I'm not lying. And I met those people and they wanted me to join their fraternity and do stuff out in Iraq with them. They wanted me to. And whenever I turned them down, guess what happened? My black ass was on the convoy, kicking in doors, kicking in doors because I wouldn't sell myself. Yeah, they in the military. They in the military strong. Oh, yeah, they in the military. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are in the Department of Defense. Oh, yeah. They there, but people don't talk about that stuff. Yeah, they're there, and they um, they solicited it to me. Hey, if you do this, then you don't have to go on this convoy. Nah, hell no. Nah. Then put me on the convoy. One guy, I'm gonna tell you a story. Uh, one guy, after my wife had got sent home. <laughs> After my wife had got sent home, after they discovered she was, uh, I was married at the time. After they sent her home, they sent her home. And I almost, I almost, they, they tried to kill me then. Oh, no, let me not say that. Let's not, let's not, let's not say they tried to kill me. Here's what happened. I'm going to tell you straight up. My hand. Devin. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. I told you it, it, it. it. But don't get too overconfident on don't 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 test it on nothing. Don't test it on nothing. Let it heal. Let it heal. Okay, my wife, she got sent home because they discovered she was pregnant. So immediately after they discovered she was pregnant, they sent her home. They sent me north of Baghdad to a fob called Warhorse. That's a forward operating base. FOB is an acronym that means forward operating base. And while I was out there, I was minding my business and everything. 
I was going to my shop. You know, I was doing my little details day in, day out. So what happens? It was this black guy. He was Boule. He was Boule. And Boule is a society that exists within the black community. And they run and they they run they they direct the political uh they direct the po- the policies within the black community. So this guy he was Boule. I'm sitting outside the tent, and this is not like a TP tent. This is like a tent that's like a like a like a like a like a half cylinder. I'm sitting out there smoking a cigarette, and he walks up to me. And he said, and I'm telling you the truth. And he walks up to me, and he says, uh. Hey, how you doing, Washington? I'm like, how, how you doing, Sergeant? He was a sergeant. You know, we talking. We talking about 10 minutes. He said, so, uh, I noticed you've been feeling, you've been seeming a little down. You're not making any contact with anybody. I said, I said no, I'm just standing to myself. I'm not down or anything. He said, he said, you seem down. You know, your wife been gone and everything. And this is a guy I had, I had never, ever talked to, ever but I've seen him in the unit. And this is the first time he addressed me. And he come up to me and he started talking about that. He was like, uh, you know, we can we can hang out if ever you need somebody to, you know, talk to and, you know, uh And you know, I thought it was like on some on some on some peer. I thought it was on some peer type like like okay, okay, he want to all right, what you want to do, Sarge? He was like, well, you know, and he he, he solicited to me. <laughs> and here, I mean, being the person that I was, here's what I did. I said, okay, Sergeant, that sounds cool. Right, all right. I got tired of those, of those people like coming at me like that. And that, that, was, a, that was in 2007. So the don't ask, don't tell still existed. You can get a you can get an Article 15. Basically, the the military sues you and take your pay if you uh, if you violate it. Don't ask, don't tell. So uh, so what I did because I was I was I was an asshole. <laughs> Here's what I did. I said, all right, Sergeant, that's cool. Let's do that. Let's do that. So I said, let me go put up my stuff. Actually, we can go do that right now. So let me go put up my stuff real quick. Uh, let me go secure my stuff real quick, and uh, and just follow me. He followed me. I put my stuff up on my bed. I had a top bunk. I can still see it right now. I can still see it right now. Uh, I had a top bunk, and I put my stuff on on that top bunk, and I secured. I put up the stuff that didn't really mean anything. Then we walked over to the top, and the top is like the the headquarters. And he, he followed me up into the headquarters. His name was Sergeant Love. I'll go ahead and disclose his name. His name was Sergeant Love. Uh, he followed me into the headquarters. And I seen my first sergeant. Hey, for, hey, first sergeant, I need to talk to you real quick. He said, oh, yeah, what's going on, Washington? First Sergeant Baker. <laughs> and in front of everybody, all the upper, upper, uh, upper ranks, I said, yeah, so Sergeant Love, he want, uh, he just violated Don't Ask, Don't Tell. He over here, he wanted me to go hook up with him on some, on some, uh, on, I, I was rude about it. Uh, and I said some, uh, some, I said the words you weren't supposed to say. And, uh, the next day, my black ass was on, my, my black ass was on missions. <laughs> hey, they, they took me from, from War Horse and they put me on a, first they put me, oh, well, I'm not going to tell you what they did to me. But I was on missions. I was on missions. The, day, the very next day, they was like, yeah, we're going to get your black ass out of here. Because most of, most all the guys uh, who, who were in that unit were a part of that boule stuff. And I just got tired of them uh, so listening to me and playing that. I mean, it's, it's a dirty game. It's a dirty game in the military. But nobody ever pays attention. I mean, nobody ever learns about it. Nobody's going to learn about it. <clears throat> Until they go in there. It's a crooked game. It's weird. It's a weird game. And we still got excellent feed. 
Yep, as a punishment, they 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 say, you know what? You've had too much downtime. We're just gonna make you run out there. We're just gonna make you. We're gonna put you out there on the front line. <laughs> hey man, you know what? I'll go ahead. I I I. I'll be in on in a little bit. All right, bro. Hey, hey, hey. I was straight up. I was straight up real with him, man. I'll go ahead and do whatever mission. There was one late. Oh, I can't tell that story. I can't tell that story. But uh, there was one. There was one lady. She she did succumb, and she stopped going on missions. And she was uh she was a lesbian. But uh because she went ahead and subcom sub came to uh what they were re requesting for her to do then uh she stopped going on missions i was like you know what i just go on the missions and if i die i die but i ain't doing that i'm not gonna die knowing that not knowing that i participated in something like that it was like washington crazy All right, I'll be waiting. We'll be here. I wish I wish I was sitting down and talking in front of y'all like like face to face, so I could tell y'all some real stories that went down in Iraq. But I can't do it on on YouTube. <clears throat> I can't I can't talk about a lot of things on on Iraq about Iraq and what I got to experience in the war and the bullshit that you had to deal with. Can't talk about that on YouTube. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. I'll invite you. You ready to play already? Hold up. You said you ready to play? He said he is not gonna stop playing War Robots. Now that's a hold up, hold up. Now I need to make a meme off of your profile all just just exclusively. I mean, there's so many people who whining and, and griping about how they're not gonna play War Robots anymore because uh because they changed the algorithm and they don't like the updates and they're just gonna quit. But I got a I got a homie on, in my clan. I got somebody in my clan who just busted his wrist, snapped it in two, broke his wrist in two, and he's playing War Robot still. Now that's dedication. That's character. I need about eighteen more individuals. How many hours we been on here? We only been here for an hour. I think I could shoot another string. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna cut after this round. I'm gonna just cut it, and then we're gonna just go right back into another string. This is an all-day event, guys. I'm here, and I mean, whatever y'all gotta do, y'all go do it, cause y'all just know I'm 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 here. I'm just gonna be here. It's all day streaming, and after I get my real my real internet going, oh man, oh man, I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the number one streaming individual. Streaming war robots. Yeah, they put a piece of metal between the bones and connect them. And it hurts once in a while. Man, man, that sounds scary. Hey, uh, that sounds scary. It just sounds scary, don't it? Just, you said you're about to faint. So I know it looked, I know it looked terrible on the way to the hospital. I know it just looked, I know it just looked bad, didn't it? I know it looked bad. If it if it was snapped in two, I know it was just like oh, I couldn't I can't imagine it. Ah ah I seen some stuff in Iraq that whenever I look at dead animals, I still get those chills, man. Blood so red, I'm telling you, blood so red. Whenever blood in the movies they make blood look dark. Blood darkens after like after about an hour. But whenever it first comes out the body. Whenever the blood comes out the body, the blood be just as red as the, the red on the, on these uh, on this IOU uh, on the uh, the UI. The red over this 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 uh, this individual right here. The blood be so red, you gotta pull down your your sunglasses. You gotta pull it down because it's bright. It's bright. It's really bright red. It's bright. It's not. It's not. It's not the red that you think. Like they put in the movies, it's all dark and slimy looking. Yeah, that's the color it turns when after it coagulates. Once it coagulates, 
Then it gets all brittly and and uh, it flakes and it's sticky. Uh, but whenever it first comes out of the body, after that fifty hit, after that fifty hit and splatter, and I'm talking about an arm and a leg and a ooh and a torso just flying in the about fifty meters in the air. Once that fifty hit, and then you got to go scrape that motherfucker up off the ground. Woo! Are you talking about some traumatizing sights? <laughs> <laughs> cause they uh, you, cause in the military they say no no soldier left behind, right? Shit, they mean that they 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 mean that for for the enemy combatants in you. No soldier left behind. Anybody we drop, we go pick up. That's not that's not a fairy tale. That is not a fairy tale. We gotta go scrape that mother. We have to go scrape them guys up off the ground. He's like, come on, man. I got some stories. I got some stories. I'm gonna save them for my grandkids, though. My daughter, she said, did y'all kill kids? I didn't even answer that question. I didn't, I never killed any kids. But uh, have I seen dead kids? What they shot that thing over the uh they shot that thing over the building. How see that's that bull. That's that bull crap. How did he shoot that thing over the building? Shit. Homie. Oh, that was you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. All right, I'm going to go start taking beacons, all right? I got to take these beacons. I'm a, I'm a fast mover. Uh my team is standing up. We still got 6 5 hour way. We just got to secure at least one more beacon to slow down our dominance bar from draining. All right, all right, all right. He's going to try to hit me. He's within my kill range. So I'm going to zoom in on him and I'm going to go take Bravo. I'm going to bust in on him. And then go take Bravo. Oh, man. And he's perched. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That means my guys are going to be able to continue to strike him. He can't strike me up in this uh, in this corridor. He's going to come out. Hold on. I'm going to have to just drop him because he's going to try to jump. And then we're going to take Bravo real quick. Somebody's shooting me. Somebody's shooting me. They're taking Bravo. You're not taking Bravo, bro. You're not taking Bravo. I promise you. And you better get to moving. Oh, he has a sweet. He has a nice little uh, reptile uh, paint job. Too bad he he, could, he didn't invest that into uh, his hole. I got to take Alpha. But this guy is trying to give me problems, right? Right? All right. All right, all right. We just using strategy to keep it to keep it going. And guys, I'm back in the mode. So definitely, if you want to squad up, just just let me know, and we can squad up. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I let him pop me one good time. That's the last time he gonna strike me. That's the last time. Put your hands on me, then. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on. Me. What? 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 What 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 what? Oh, ankles broke, ankles broke. Ah, uh, ankles broke. Put your hands on me, sucker. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Put your hands on me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Where you going? Where you going? Come back here. Come on back here. Yak! Where you going? 
Sucker. Sucker MCs want to bite my rhyme. Come on back here. Come on back here. Bring your ass, bring your big ass on back here. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> what happened? Somebody busted me. Oh, he busted me out the corner. Oh, I should have took Alpha. He stopped me out the corner, guys. Shit. Damn, I'm still in range. I'm still in the danger zone. You're in my range of zone. You're in the danger zone. My fucking game is strong. All right, go ahead and I'll wait in the hangar. I'm going to be there. My fucking game is strong. Hey, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill this feed real quick. I'm going to be right back and just be in the hangar. This one ran an hour. A lot of my hour-long feeds, they get a lot of uh, views. So that's why I try to keep it for an hour. If you run like a 25-minute, 30-minute feed... It's not going to get a lot of views. All right. I'm going to pull out on this one.